Okay, so we're taking a video now of Saturn drifting through the scope here, and I'm going to try to adjust the exposure maybe. If I can do this, plus, minus. A little minus. And yeah, you want, you want less light. But I can't do aperture while we're filming. It's oh, pretty okay. bright. Yeah, I should have had the... Uh, okay, I should have had the... Uh, gosh, I can't dim it down much, can I? Wish I could. How about focus, maybe? How about zooming in? Yeah, can you zoom in? That would give us a little less aperture, yeah. Yeah, I'd narrow down a little more. There. How's that? Maybe that's a little better. We're bouncing around, sorry, because I'm moving the scope and it's manually tracking. It's a Dobsonian. Whoa. Wow. It almost looks like a flying saucer zooming around, doesn't it? You can convince somebody on the web that this is not Saturn, but a UFO. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, UFO video. Yeah, yeah, there you go, folks. Look at that. It's just, boy, it's going to land any minute. Oh, my God. Look at it, you guys. The spaceship has landed. Oh, my God. It's okay. It's all right. Everybody calm down. It's real. See, there's Saturn. There it is. There's on the video. Okay. So I'll put this up on the web today for people to see. Isn't that nice? It's drifting along. It's actually not drifting at all. It's the Earth turning. Oh, is that it, oh, right now? Yes, and we're looking. That's why it's moving. It's us Whoa, turning. Oh, that's going pretty fast. That's our motion actually turning. Yeah, it's causing it to move along. That's incredible. Take a look at this, Ben. It's awesome. It's better than a Hollywood movie, folks. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's better than uh, Vegematic. It slices, it dices. Isn't that amazing? You know okay. what would be really cool? I just kind of thought of a video idea. Uh huh. You take some of your video like this. Sure. And uh, you uh, record it, and you have like a. Like, have it dubbed over like you're talking about, you know, what you're looking at, and then head it in later with like a, you know, a compositing software like After Effects. Right. Like planet blowing up, you know. Oh sure, and, something and really it, destructive. It's like edited it out, and then you're just like, oh my god. Or maybe oh it, it gets god. born in another planet, so it produces more like kids, like people. Next thing you know, we got yeah, the whole universe overpopulated with planets. <laughs> I'm talking about production, not destruction. Let's do something great. Anyway, there it is again, and so I'm gonna. Let it go here now and if turn the video off. One of these, can I get lens powerful enough to see Saturn up close as we did the moon? You could even see your neighbors through the window next door and identify them if you wanted to. But yes, I'd, identify like the rather than spying on people, I think I'd rather just look at the universe. There's so many wondrous things out there to see. And Absolutely. this is obviously the one that people see the first time and it kind of changes their life. It does for many people. It did for me as a kid. I already kid. feel my life changing. Yeah, I feel it. No, really, I, I felt it already. That's great. You I, guys are serious, though. You, I'm not kidding. You're actually sincere when you Absolutely. say that. Isn't Absolutely. Isn't that amazing? I can't unsee this now. Yeah, you can't I, unsee I really this. I had no idea. I never thought of that. Yeah, I, once you see this and you're amazed, how can... You out of your mind. How can... It reminds me of watching the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. If you've ever seen that, yeah. oh, you can't forget it. I have a soundtrack on record. I, I'm a picture looking guy. I look at pictures of everything photo, viewer, montage man. I've uh -huh. never seen anything like that. Before. Really? Did you actually see Saturn? Yeah. I've seen lots of pictures of deep sea creatures, like bioluminescent creatures and stuff like that, and deep galaxy. And well, the, the oceans are as amazing as space. Oh, really? it's, it's all already a kind of a cosmic continuum <laughs> from the macrocosm to the micro. Yeah. You know, when I found out that the spores, um, the, uh, I think it's in the algae, but the coral reefs, every single year, I think it is, but all at once, all coral reefs in the entire world set off their pods. They set off their speed, their, their, like their, their eggs, all Same at once. Time same time all around the entire world and no matter how that happens that's ridiculously incredible the fact that that even happens I mean that something can be timed and specifically I mean there's got to be some kind of consciousness there's got to be some kind of agreement or some kind of something that helps them all coordinate that way I mean you look at a biological level of connection I mean if maybe if they're touching each other they can share their information possibly but they're so far away from each other so they're communicating through some type of field in yeah, some is way, some sort of magnetic or field that shifts. What, or something what, like that? what in their cellular it? form creates that knowledge of that time sequence? Like, you know, the cicadas are do the same thing. Like they spend 17 years underground, and then all at the same time they come up to me. Really? Yeah. Every Whoa. 17 years. The, 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 the cicadas. Yeah. Crickets. Oh yeah? yeah. Now we're back to reality, and there's the moon out there in the sky over the street. Yeah. So right. cool. that's another. Yeah, isn't it amazing though? I mean, think about that kind of stuff. It's like yeah. it's hard to wrap our, wrap our mind around it. But the way I kind of see it is that I, is that the science we have today is what we currently accept, and I think you know, in a hundred years, especially in a thousand, we'll realize that everything that we accept as fact up to this date was just a joke, just like we look at. It. A lot of old guys in Aristotle and in the past, or any of the old beliefs, you know, that subjugated uh, how things were and the rules that were determined at the time. You know, look at quantum physics. 
how that's going in a whole different realm. It's like no one really studied that before. You know? There's only a couple guys working on that, but it's like there's open this world of information that exists that we don't even know anything about. Oh, yeah. A thousand years would be pretty amazing. Yeah, really, man. Think about that. Like, well, as long as